Hi, this is Natalie with The Fifth Journey, and I'm going to be making another one of the new fragrances in the Brambleberry collection. This is the um, Lingonberry, I think that's how you say it, Spice. And I'm going to make two loaves, so this will be about a six pound batch. And I'm doing a lot of different steps here. So you can see I have a lot of containers and I will have a lot of dishes. So um, what I'm going to do, because this discolors, and I want to do some holiday kind of Christmassy colors. This discolors to tan. So I separated my lye and my oils into three separate containers. So what I want to do is have kind of a diagonal layer of the gold with the fragrance and then a diagonal layer of some, I've got some white right there, green and then red. And then I want to do the last layer with that gold again. So I went ahead, I haven't done this before with the micas, but I went ahead and put my fragrance into my oils and put the micas in there as well, because I'm not doing anything else. I just want to emulsify it really quickly, pour it into those molds. Um, so what my plan is, and I'll have to move everything around, um, obviously out of the way, but I've got the micas over here. I did end up mixing some, so I've got two different colors for the red, because red is really hard to get, so I usually end up mixing a red mica with Aussie red clay. That gives me really good red. I've got um, two different golds and then two different greens. Now on the green, one of them will morph to kind of a pond scummy looking green but it will morph back and I mix that in with some evergreen. And then I have a copper mica that I'm going to do as a pencil line between the two layers. So hopefully everything will go okay and I'm separating out in batches like I said because I don't want to mix everything together and then I have a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of the way. So I'll start with one of these with my lye solution. And um, this container, as you can see, it's a little bit stained from like carrot juice and stuff like that for lye, but it's totally fine. The lye itself is clear. Um, so I'll do this batch first, pour it in, let it harden, come back. So I'll be stopping the video in between, um, probably come back in about 15 minutes. And then I will do the next layer with this that does not have any mica in it. And I'll do kind of an in the pot swirl. That's my plan there. And then um, do the, um, uh, let it sit again, and then do the last one with the dusting um, in between each one of those. So I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to carefully get everything out of the way and get started. We'll fast forward through each of these so it'll be kind of seamless for you, and then we'll come back. There we have it. I went ahead and put some of that copper mica on top. And if you watch the time at all, this actually went way faster than I anticipated. So, um, and I was anticipating this to go faster, but the micas do tend to speed stuff up, at least with this recipe. Um, so things moved a lot faster. The layers were set up a lot sooner than I had anticipated, which was fine. I was just able to make this sooner. So, um, I really don't recommend adding the micas in to your oils before you add the lye solution. It worked fine, but unless you know what trace is, I wouldn't recommend doing it because I had a hard time kind of seeing where I wanted to be. And I would have preferred to be a little bit lighter, but you know, since I already mixed everything together, I couldn't really go back. Now, the fragrances, especially finicky ones, even though this one was not a finicky fragrance, you can add to the oils. Um, prior to adding your um, lye in as long as things are cool and the right temperature. So, um, you know, I, I mix everything really well. I don't know if I'm going to have any kind of 
movement swirls in the the kind of the gold um, layer so you know we'll see we'll see what happens and I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven and put the light on bring it to the gel phase and then we'll come back when it is time to cut we're back the next day to cut the Christmas sea soap I'm hoping it'll turn out okay have a nice golden color which is what I was wanting and not sure if the other layer will be a little bit different because sometimes even though you use the same ingredients um, sometimes just the way you mix it results in a little bit different color so we're going to go ahead and trim up the edges and cut it see how it looks and on the layers um, with the video things did move along a lot faster um, I mean, I was just, I was really surprised. I thought I'd have to come back in like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, but really by the time I poured, it was pretty much ready for that next layer to go. So I'm happy with how that, how that worked out. It did go a little faster than I was planning on, but you know, that's good. So, um, it actually, I'm unmolding it the next morning. So less than 24 hours later, um, from when I cut it, but it's, it's pretty firm. So let's go ahead and, and trim it up and I'll fast forward through all this. Here we go. Really excited how these turned out. So I did have a little, of course I haven't turned these up yet, but I did have a little bit of bumps in some of them. So not completely straight lines on all of the bars, but the swirls are really a lot of fun. So, and I have a lot of uniform color in there. Um, the fragrance is supposed to discolor to tan, but I, you know, added those micas in there. We've got that good pencil line, but we've got some really good swirls in there. I think that's really nice and, and Christmassy looking. So, and on this one, for some reason, I don't know why it was so thick. I'm guessing maybe I had the, the mold tilted up a little bit, not quite sure. But, you know, you've got really, really good swirls in there. So I don't know if I'm going to stamp these or not, um, or I'll stamp the, you know, one side that maybe not have the label, label covering. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet on there. But I'm going to go ahead, trim these up, and then we'll come back for a final look. And I really, really like what this smells like. It's not... I don't really think it's a, a berry scent. It really does remind me of Christmas, like a Christmas store that you go into. Um, not quite the Noel, because that has a long, a, a big, a, a strong spice. But I think this is kind of like the Noel fragrance, um, but maybe just not as strong. But I'm really happy how these turned out. So I'm really excited about all these. Really good swirls in there. Nice colors, and you can see that green. Can't find one. That green did morph back, but yeah, I'm really happy. So I'll go ahead, trim this up, and we'll come back for a final look.